So we're in the Surrey Hills and we're going to find former Red Bull Rampage athlete and World Cup rider Brendan Fairclough. He's going to show us his brand new Scott Ransom he's just taken delivery of. Let's go find him. We're here with Brendan Fairclough and his new Scott Ransom. So get ready for a bike check with a difference. It's MBUK Superbike. So Brent, this is your new Ransom. And the first thing I noticed is I can't see the shock. Mate, it's, uh, it's a new thing from Scott. Well, obviously it's not new. Obviously it's uh, originated with the uh, Spark where they brought it in, then into the Genius, and now finally it's on the Ransom. And I just think that looks so smart, clean. And then I look at every other bike where you can see the shock and I just think it looks old school. This is just so clean and tidy, I love it. And it's nice and low down as well. Yeah, I think um, what they've done here with being able to hide the shock in there is keep a super low center of gravity, which obviously optimizes turning, optimizes every part of your riding actually. Um, climbs super well, descends even better. Getting the weight down is just key, isn't it? It's like any, you look at any race car or any, any vehicle that's trying to go around a corner fast, and that's, uh, that's key, and they've done a great job with that. And I. Well, I just can't stop looking at it, I think it looks great. And I can see that the hidden shock is driven by a different linkage to the old Ransom. So it's a six link suspension design. Correct, yeah. And that's allowed the designers to separate the axle path and the shock actuation completely. Wow, there you go. That would be why it feels so good then. And uh, under that cover, what shock have you got on there? On uh, this you're not allowed to see it secret because it's under the cover. Top the, secret. Yeah, so top it's, secret. It's fully hydrogen powered electronic Absolutely. wizardry. The bike comes with a Float X, a Fox Float X shock with twin locks so you can adjust it for climbing, descending, trail, whatever you want. I've actually gone for the Burley Freerider Downhill Edition X2 Air in there. You can even run a coil in there. You can even run other shocks if you wanted, but I wouldn't advise stay on Fox if I was you. So it's trunnion mounted on bearings and it's the new track lock system. So with a handlebar mounted remote, you can make the shock super progressive by closing a valve between two chambers and that makes the bike optimized for climbing. Yeah. But you use a different setup because your demands for what you want to use the bike for are a bit different, aren't they? Well, I'm a sport brat. I've got a spark for climbing and for trail for, and for, for cross country. I've got a genius for in the middle and I've got this as my sort of mega avalanche bike, trans Madeira bike, enduro bike, jumping, doing all sorts of silly YouTube video stunts on it. So um, I don't really need the lockout on there. It climbs amazing even without that. Well, I'm gonna do mega avalanche later on in the year. So I might experiment with X2 coil, but what you touched on then is all the linkages have got bearings in and that comes across on all models as well. So whatever model you buy of this, you get bearings throughout. So that's gonna be, makes it so supple and makes a huge difference, I think. Fantastic. And have you had a chance to ride this bike yet? Um, I've had it for a while. I've had to keep it quite secret, but um, I haven't given it the abuse I want to, but I've had a good few weeks on it. I've been super busy with other projects and mainly on downhill bike and other stuff at the minute. Like I said before, this is, I'm gonna get this optimized for Mega Avalanche, which is gonna be one of my uh, big aims this year, is to get back and do Mega. We're gonna do Trans Madeira again, so this is gonna be the bike of dreams for that, yeah. Okay, and uh, you spent a bit of time on it, so what's the geometry like compared to the old Ransom? Um, we're slightly slacker, we're slightly lower, I think. Um, it's incredibly versatile with the flip chip, so you can run full 29, full 27 if you want, or mullet. With a, a simple flip of this chip here, you can uh, lower the bottom bracket or raise it up and that, that allows you to run the mullet or the full 29. And what's your preference? At the minute, on my Genius, I run full 29. On this, um, I'm gonna run it mullet. Maybe if I do some bigger jumps or if I put it steeper down a hill, I like the mullet on my downhill bike. Um, I still haven't gone full 29 on that. I catch my ass on the uh, tire all the time when I run full 29. So uh, for me, um, the 27 at the rear, 29 at the front is the optimal setup for me. Wow, 
I wonder if we might go for a bit of a train. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, you're on camera, so. I better perform. <laughs> Ready? You went a bit higher than I expected. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't get the tire graft. <laughs> Are you right? I'm fine, yeah. I think I need to work more on boosting my jumps. Now let's talk about the kit that you're running on this bike. Yep. So what fork have you got up front? We've got a new 38 Fox fork at the front. We've got 220 PSI at the back. Don't know at the front, I think 100 PSI at the front. Yes, yeah, so that's that's suspension. And what um, about tokens? Do you know what you're running in the fork? I run four tokens in there. Keep oh, quite progressive. Progressive, yeah, yeah. 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 These for these big arms, you see, yeah. Um, and then yeah, so that, that's the suspension setup. Okay, and what about your cockpit? Um, we have the Deity BF 800 bars. That's my uh, my signature bar with a new secret Deity Copperhead 42 mil reach stem. Okay, and what's secret about that? Uh, it's new. It's coming out soon. Okay. Yes, this might be uh, might be the first time you heard about that, but yeah, that's that's quite cool. So Deity do a cophead 50 mil reach at 35, and now you've got something in the middle with 42. And I like I like an aluminium bar. I like 31.8. I don't like a carbon bar if I feel like it's too stiff. I imagine I get too much feedback. So I like a nice uh, old school aluminium thin bar. So I feel like you've got a bit more bit more feel. They come 800. It says Brendog Choice Cut 780. So that's what that's what I run. I run pretty much 780 throughout all bikes actually, yeah. Is it worth asking you what grips you're running, Brent? Death grips, of course. But um, these ones are actually the uh, white fatter version, so they're obviously a bit more uh, meat in there. So uh, yeah, but yeah. But you don't always death grip, sometimes you want to break. So what do you use when you need to slow down? Occasionally, yeah, we have to, uh, we have to uh, go for the brakes. And these are Hayes Dominions, uh, the purple edition. These are actually quite cool. They've got the old school Hayes logo on there, which they're doing a limited run of these uh, purple ones, actually. Do you know what? Super happy with these. Amazing, amazing, amazing brake. Like, just having the bearing in there just makes the, the lever feel so light. And I'll go and feel someone else's other brake and I just think oh, I don't know how people run I, I just think that is so light and lovely at first I found myself braking a bit too much because it was so light and you didn't feel like you were leaning on them yeah, yeah. but like longer rides big descends there's no chance of getting arm pump or any any hand ache because you just so such a light strong feel so yeah really really happy with those happy days yeah. and then moving towards your other contact points yeah what pedals are you using and what seat are you using? We're using the Deity Speed Trap seat. I've been on that for years. Brendog Edition DMR Volt pedals. These are the, uh, the ice. We do a black version and we do a silver ice version, we call it. So yeah, I mean, that's been uh, ongoing, for, ongoing forever. I'm so happy with those. Um, we've got the king pins in there. So it's a slightly uh, higher pin. I like the feel of it. We have a sharper pin in the middle, which we call the moto pin and a slightly higher pin on the outside. So the idea is that your foot digs into the middle moto pin to give you more of a concave feel on your pedal. So it feels like you're in the pedals. So yeah, stoked on them. Fantastic. And carrying on with the drivetrain, yep. I see you've got some DMR cranks there. Yep, we've got the DMR axe crank on there and a 165. Um, oh, nice and short. Yeah, pedaling is not the first priority for me. As long as I can get up the hill and pedal but you've got loads of clearance. It keeps the cranks out of the way from rock strikes or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I've always, I've been on a 165 for as long as I can remember, yeah. So when you are pedaling, what drivetrain do you use to get you to the top of the hill? Uh, we're on the new SRAM T-Type axis, so it's um, completely wireless, and I'm running the new uh, the new shifter up here. I really, really like this shifter. They, they do like the older version and this new version, which I think you can opt for either. I uh, smashed both my thumbs up at Rampage about six years ago, so I disked both my thumbs. So shifting gears was not the most comfortable thing. Now I've got this, it's just a pleasure. I'm just all the time banging through and it's and it's completely like completely adjustable in any way you want, which at first gives you too many options to put your shifter. Sometimes it's good just to chuck it there and that's all you can have it. But once you get of where you really want it, it's just, yeah, it's a pleasure. So I'm loving that, 12 speed, yeah, T-type.
Right, and then we've got your wheels. So you've got some nice carbon looking rims on there. Tell us about what wheels you choose. Yeah, so this is um, a new actually prototype uh, NV wheel. It's going to be the new M series. It's going to be the new M9. It's less uh, deep section, so you actually get a bit more feel through the bike. The idea being is that it's more compliant over sort of off camera stuff. So you get a bit of a more of a feel. It's less stiff. Yeah. So you still get the lovely Envy stiff feeling where it like pops you lovely out of a turn, but you get a bit more compliance and uh, feel across off camera stuff. So that's something that, that the guys have been working on for a while that has been, I've ridden, raced on last year, and I think it's coming out in a few months time. So that's something that's like super exciting. I'm really happy about those. They're gonna be backed with a new Envy hub which is uh, quite exciting, which I haven't got on at the minute, but uh, yeah, we're pretty excited about that. It's, uh, it's gonna be pretty rad. And finally, what rubber do you use to give you traction? Yeah, we're on the Pirellis. Um, it's a, quite a new partnership with them. Really, really stoked on that one. Um, we're running like the M series up front. This is a, a tire that I often just stick on the front, leave it. But that's a DH casing. And on the rear, we've got a T-type in also DH casing. This is more of a rear specific, it's a bit more open tread better for braking. So yeah, that, that's about it with those. They're uh, chuck them on and run them and I, I'm absolutely yeah over the moon with, with uh, the new Pirelli stuff. And then we can't finish without talking about the colour of the bike. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that paint job? Um, I'm absolutely loving it. What colour are we calling that? Oh, I don't know, I'm colour blind. <laughs> no, you're yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say this is like a, an off-white grey colour next to the fluorescent yellow and this is when you buy the, the the ransom in a rc version i think this pretty much goes throughout all the top rc models whether it's a gambler to a spark when you buy an rc it will come with this uh, this paint job that's a sick shot right brendan thanks very much for joining us and showing us your bike thank you what have you got planned for the rest of the year uh rest of the year goodness we've got um death grip 2 coming out in a couple of months, uh, hopefully in April, we've uh, got to go finish the eighth and final section of the movie, which we're going to film with Caden Chaos. Um, plan is to do Mega Avalanche, Trans Madeira, um, Hardline. No World Cups for me this year, I don't think. Might go to a few and uh, show face, but not going to be racing. So it sounds like you've got a busy year ahead yeah, of you. Yeah, we've got a busy year, going to, going to keep busy. Um, keep the YouTube channel going, I'm loving doing that at the minute, so yeah, just yeah. Love and riding my bike. So watch this space. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and do subscribe for more MBUK superbikes. So that, that could be yellow to you, could it? Or it could green? be. Well, that bit's green, doesn't it? No, that's oh, yellow. All right, yellow, <laughs> there we are. Right, there you go. Should we go riding? Let's do it.